Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to divide polynomials using long division. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. Our problem here will have a remainder at the end, and I'll show you how to deal with that when we get there. We have this problem though, x to the fourth minus x squared plus 5x minus 6 divided by an x plus 5. Well, let's go set it up like we do normal long division. We have an x plus 2 here, and it's going to be going into the first part. x to the fourth power, but notice here, we jump from to the fourth power to the second power. I'm going to need to put a place value here of the third power. But I don't want to change the problem at all. So to do that, I have a plus 0x to the third power, which is just 0, doesn't change the problem. But minus x squared comes in, then we have a 5x and a minus a 6. And you'll see why in a minute why that place value is important. Okay, so now we have to ask ourselves this question. What times x the first part here gives me x to the fourth, and that's going to be x to the third. And we want to line it over our x to the third value. Now you can see why it's important. x to the third times an x is an x to the fourth, and that's what we wanted. From there, we continue on x to the third times a 2, and we have plus a 2x to the third. Now we want to subtract the whole new thing we created from what's above x to the fourth minus x to the fourth should equal zero. That was the goal there. But zero x to the third minus a two x to the third is a minus two x to the third. We then want to bring down the minus x squared here. From there, we're going to ask ourselves the same question as before. What times x gives me a negative two x to the third? And that's going to be a minus two x squared. Negative 2x squared times an x gives me a negative 2x to the third, and we continue on. Negative 2x squared times a 2 is a minus a 4x squared, and now we want to subtract the 2, okay? Subtract it down, now we distribute that minus sign to both parts as we go. Kind of tricky here. Negative 2x to the third minus a negative 2x to the third, or adding that, gets us a zero, we're good. Second part, negative x squared minus a negative 4x squared is like adding a 4x squared, and so we're left with a 3x squared. We now need to bring down the next part, plus a 5x. From here, well, we wanna ask the same question again. What times x gives me 3x squared? And that is just a 3x. 3x times x, 3x squared. 3x times a 2 is a 6x. We want to subtract the 2, top and bottom. 3x squared minus 3x squared cancels out to be 0, which is what we wanted. And 5x minus a 6x is a negative x right here. Lastly, we want to bring down a minus 6 right there. Now I think I'm running out of room right here, so I'm going to kind of continue it right here so we can, well, see it more. I guess right here should be enough room. So moving on from there, what times a, what times an x gives me a negative x? That's a negative 1, right? Negative 1 times x is a, I'll rewrite that part here so you can see it. x minus 6, I'm still on my line. So negative 1 times an x is a negative x. Negative one times a two gives me a negative two. We want to subtract the two right there. Negative x minus a negative x is a positive, right? Minus a negative positive x cancels out to be zero. Negative six minus a negative four, or negative two, got the answer there, is gonna be a plus a positive two, which is a minus four, negative four here. And since we finished lining up all the way, really to x to the zero power here, our four is going to be our remainder. Now, what do we do with that? We'll see it here. Our answer to this question, x to the fourth minus x squared plus 5x minus 6 divided by x plus 2, is the first part that we see up here. 
the x to the third minus a 2x squared plus a 3x minus 1. Then we want to subtract the minus sign, subtract, we put a 4 up top right there, and we're going to have in the denominator what we're dividing by, x plus 2. And that's our remainder, our negative 4 was the remainder, so the whole thing here, we had to add it here, but we still need to divide that last bit, but we're not going to keep going. And then there we have it, our answer, x to the third minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 minus 4 over x plus 2. I hope you learned something here on how to divide polynomials using long division. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.